What is hardwired control unit? Hardwired control unit generates the control signals needed for the processor using logic circuits like flip flops. Control memory is absent in this control unit. This control unit uses RISC, reduced instruction set computer microprocessors. These type of control units rely on the instructions to be optimized to produce best results. Also because of RISC microprocessors, these type of control unit are capable of better parallel processing than microprogrammed control unit. Now I am going to explain about the designing of hardwired control unit. As you all can see the diagram, the decoder and encoder generates the required set of control signals. The step counter is responsible for step-by-step -step execution of instruction and it resets to zero when instruction is completed. The output signal depends on step counter value, content in IR register, conditional statements and external input. Detailed block description. The detailed block description consists of the step decoder which generates a separate block signal for each step or time slot in the control sequence. The instruction decoder decodes the instruction loaded in IR. The output of the instruction decoder consists of a separate line for each of the M machine instructions. According to the code in the IR, only one line amongst all output lines of decoder is set to 1 and all the other lines are set to 0. The input signals to encoder are combined to generate the individual control signals like add, read, etc. The end signal starts the new instruction fetch cycle by resetting the control step counter to its starting value. When run is 1, the counter to be incremented by 1 at the end of every clock cycle. When run is 0, the counter stops counting and this is needed whenever the WMFC signal is activated. Let us now see the advantages and disadvantages. Advantages First, because control signals are generated by combinational circuits, the delay in generation of signals depend upon the number of gates. Disadvantages The more control signals required by CPU, the more complex the CU will be. No flexibility as the modification of actual hardware would be needed for the modification of control signals. The multiplier CU is based on the Boots algorithm and as you guys know what actually Boots algorithm is. Boots algorithm is a multiplication algorithm that multiplies two signed binary numbers in close complement rotation. And what multiplier CU actually does is it uses the step by step instructions from Boots algorithm as well as the flowchart below until the multiplication is completed. So here we have a question minus 13 into minus 8. So firstly what we do is we convert the values of minus 8 and minus 13 into a 5 bit value. Then we take the accumulator's value into a 5 bit as well. And uh, now we will start with the boots algorithm cycle. Although the cycle is self-explanatory, I will be going over one of these cycles. So what we do here is uh, we compare the we compare the values of Q0 and the least significant bit of Q. And um, since both the values here are 0 and 0, we directly perform ARS and then we move to the next cycle as shown. The hardware circuit to perform both algorithm consists of many parts. First, resistors, accumulator, multiplier, Q0, and multiplicand are the four resistors present. Along with them, whose complement circuit and an n bit adder circuit is also present. The control unit will control the flow of data. Now, our multiplication is performed in many cycles. Each cycle consists of multiple steps. The first step is to check the value of Q1 and Q0. Decide whether A plus M or A minus M is to be performed. The value of minus M is got from the two complement circuit. The adder circuit will add A with M or minus M. After addition is done, the arithmetic right shift will be performed by the multiplier control unit. Each step of this cycle will reduce the value of 10 by 1. Once the value of 10 reaches 0, final answer will be automatically stored in accumulator and multiplier registers combined. Thus, this is how we perform boost algorithm in the hardwired circuit.